An angle is a measurement of how far something has turned. Angles that are less than 90 degrees are called acute angles. An angle of exactly 90 degrees is called a right angle, and we show it like this. Angles that are more than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees, are called obtuse angles. A straight line is exactly 180 degrees. Angles that are more than 180 degrees and less than 360 degrees are called reflex angles. A full turn is 360 degrees. If someone has a sharp sense of humour, you can say they have an acute sense of humour. An acute angle is a sharp angle. If someone's being a bit thick, you can say that they're being obtuse. An obtuse angle is a big thick angle. A doctor can test someone's reflexes like this. You can remember the reflex angle because of the knee of the person. Here are some questions for you. Press pause and have a go. When you're ready, press play. Here are the answers. We're now going to look at measuring and drawing angles. To do this, you'll need a piece of equipment called a protractor. On the protractor, we have a baseline here. This is really important. Now, on the protractor, you can see two scales. The outside scale here and the inside scale here. A lot of people find it very confusing that there are two scales on a protractor, but hopefully I'm going to help you choose which one to use. I want to measure the size of this angle. First of all, I need my protractor. I need to move it into position over the angle. I line the baseline up carefully with the line at the bottom of the angle. The centre mark of the protractor needs to be exactly on the point of the angle. The angle I'm measuring is here. If I look at the scales here, I want to use the one that starts at zero, so I'm going to use the inside scale. I can see that it goes around to exactly 60 degrees. So the size of my angle is 60 degrees. I always check that my answer makes sense by looking at what type of angle I have. I can see that this is an acute angle. Acute angles are less than 90 degrees and my answer is less than 90 degrees. So I know that this is reasonable. I want to measure this angle now. First of all, I need my protractor. I need to move it into position. I now need to tilt the protractor so that the baseline lines up with the line of the angle. Now that my protractor's lined up, I can see that this time the zero is on the outside scale. So I'm going to use the outside scale to measure the angle. I'm going to go all the way round to 120 and then I can see that it's 8 more degrees. So the answer is 128 degrees. I can check this one by seeing that I've got an obtuse angle here. My answer is more than 90 but less than 180. So this is also an obtuse angle. When I put my protractor on this angle, ready to measure it, I can see that the lines that create the angle are actually too short. So I'm going to take my protractor off and extend both of the lines using a ruler. This won't change the size of the angle itself. First of all, this one here, and then this one. 
you can see that the angle here hasn't changed at all. I can now put my protractor back on. The baseline is lined up here. I can see that I want to use this zero on the inside scale. I can count around to 40 degrees. I then need to look carefully here and see that it's 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47 degrees in total. Remember to check your angles. The picture clearly showed an acute angle and this answer is less than 90 degrees. Here's a question for you to try. The first thing you need to do is copy the diagram very accurately onto squared paper. To get this right, make sure you draw a line which is six squares long here. And then for the next part, make sure you go across two squares and up six squares. This will ensure that your diagram is accurate. Press pause and have a go. When you're ready for the answer, press play. The answer is 108 degrees. I hope you remembered to put the degree symbol here. A lot of people forget this. You are allowed to be one degree out either way. So you could also have the answers 107 degrees or 109 degrees. I now want to measure the size of this reflex angle. When I put my protractor onto the angle, I can see that the angle is actually more than 180 degrees. I need to do this in a slightly different way then. The first thing I'm going to do is extend this line here. I now know that this part of the angle is exactly 180 degrees. All I need to do now is measure this part of the angle using my protractor. So I can put my protractor on and use the outside scale to measure that this part is exactly 51 degrees. To get the total size of the angle, I can add these two together. The answer is 231 degrees. Just out of interest, some people prefer to measure reflex angles in a different way by actually measuring this angle here and subtracting from 360 to get this angle here. Measuring this angle gives me 129 degrees. 360 take away 129 gives me the same answer I had before, 231 degrees. You need to choose which of these two methods you prefer. Here's a question for you to try. Make sure you copy the diagram really carefully onto squared paper. Press pause and have a go. When you're ready for the answer, press play. Here's the answer. We're now going to have a look at how to draw angles. I want to draw an angle of 75 degrees. I'm going to start by drawing a baseline for my angle. I now have two options. I could draw my angle on this side of the line here, like this, or I could draw it on this side, like this. I'm going to draw it on this side. So when I put my protractor on, I line it up with this end of the line. I can see that the baseline is lined up with the zero that is on the outside scale. So I'm going to use the outside scale to measure 75 degrees. I put a dot at 75. I can now take my protractor away and join the dot to the end of the line to create my angle. 
This is my angle of 75 degrees. I now want to draw an angle of 320 degrees. Because this is a reflex angle and is larger than 180 degrees, the first thing I'm going to do is split it into two parts. 320 degrees is 180 degrees plus 140 degrees. So first of all, I'm going to draw an angle of 180 degrees and then an angle of 140 degrees. To draw the 180 degree angle, all I need to do is extend the line. Now for the other 140 degrees, I need to use my protractor. I want to measure the 140 degrees from here round in this direction. So I'm going to use the zero here on the outside scale. I mark 140 degrees with a dot. Then remove the protractor and draw a line going from here through the dot. I now have an angle of 180 degrees and an angle of 140 degrees. So altogether, I've drawn an angle of 320 degrees. For more practice at measuring and drawing angles, please use the S14 worksheets.